Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. Um, we are back with Planet Crafter. Yes, yes, yes. Today, today we are going to install some trees. We have unlocked the tree spreader. I'm kind of um been watching um the the T points back here. Because we got a T2 tree spreader here at 750. So I'm hoping that the trees moves this stuff up really fast. Faster than what we're going now. That's my thought. So yeah, today we are installing trees. But before we get started with this awesome video, let me remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button down there. I like to try to at least get one on this video. Um, be sure to leave a comment and of course, of course, of course, click them likes. You gotta like the video. Alright, so let's jump into this game and play some more Planet Crafter. Okay, everybody, I have brought you to my sky base. Yes, we are at my sky base. Not to really be playing the game, but I thought, you know, I've had, I got this built, you know, it, it's here. All we got to do is just step outside and take a look around, right? So let's go over to our ladder, our ladder to the sky. Because I'm really curious to look around outside. Look at this, look at this, look at this. We can't craft these no more. They took that out. Look at all that storage we could get for that. Ah, oh, I can't believe they took away our golden crate craftability. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. It's still here in this world, though. Alright. Do some climbing. Now, the purpose, like I said, of this is just to get a bird's eye view of the land. Just to be sure that we covered everything. So we got a new secret room over there. We got the new cave over there. We found the um, abandoned settlement. Abandoned pod over in this area here. There's a cave in the rock spires that cuts straight through to the other side. We got the ring that we cannot access until we reach the end of our terraforming we got the sand waterfalls no 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 the canyon the canyon sorry 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 all right so yeah the canyons here with a whole bunch of zeolite on the tops of these so if you reach the moss stage you'll get vines on the sides of these um rock formations and you can get to the top so over here I see all this mountain range. I have actually been up in there. There's no resources, nothing up there. It's just nothing. I guess it's maybe a work in progress. And then as you can see, this whole thing back here is still empty. Nothing over there. Let me walk over to the other side. I'm a little bit, yeah, that's my uh, beautiful canyon. And then I think right here is our um, super alloy. And yes, 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 I've read the comments. I'm going to put in an ore extractor in there, T2. My trouble was, is I didn't have the iridium. I, I really had to wait until my first ore extractor extracted it all from the um, sand case over here once i got the ore from there then i put one in the aluminum field so i have one there and i have one there so today i am going to be putting one into the so i only got half damage for falling all that distance 
Ha! Ah. All right. All right, so what do we need for an ore extractor T2? A simium, super alloy, and two iridium rods. Those iridium rods is what's killing me. And um, that's why I haven't built too many of them yet. But let me see what I have. I don't have any rods at all. So let me go over to my iridium cave and see what I could pull out. Oh, you see how quick it just turned dark like that? That was crazy. At least this biome has its own lighting. Alright, so where in here should we put this bad boy? Alright, fingers crossed. As you can see, I built myself a summer home. Not a whole lot in here at the moment. But um, what I do have in here is everything I need to make some trees. I need to empty out my inventory. And move into my inventory. So now we have what we need to make, I think, five trees. I think I got six seeds, but we do have five trees. Let's go out the top. I do have a habitat in here, a biodome T2. I got two big rooms connected by one pod in the middle. That way if I want to do weird things, I can. It's kind of weird that way. All right, let's put our first tree spreader right out here in the middle because I'm not sure how big it's going to be. Can we put you on the side of a hill? Oh. You won't let me put you up here because of the wreckage or because of the rocks or what? That seems weird. Oh, maybe it's got to be in the water. All right, well, let's try that. Huh. Put another one over here. Yep, it's the water. We'll just line our little shore up with some trees. These are pretty cool looking. Can we access them? Open tree spreader. Oh, yep, yeah, we gotta put our tree seeds in there. Alright, how close are you to that one? Put you over here. And that was it. Alright, let's pop some seeds in there. These two might be too close to each other, I don't know. All right, that's what I had planned for. That's what I got. Now we just wait for the trees to come. Where are they at? Hello? Aren't you instant? Let's 
What's that? There it is. There's the start of a tree. We're seeing a miracle happen before our eyes. It's the birth of a planet. Oh, we got several of them now. Okay, okay. Let's let these things grow. Yeah. We're going to let these things grow. And then we're going to go check on our... Um, oh, Simeon. Did that put a seed in there? Yep. I sure did. I need to go in here and get some air. Grab my stuff. I guess I'll put you back. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Should I have a second home? I'm thinking about like duplicating everything over there over here. Yeah, in case of a natural disaster or a backup house or maybe I'll rent this one out. I don't know. But I definitely could put a bed and everything in this one. I could make this like my house house and then that my workhouse. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll see how this one turns out once I'm done. But um, yeah, I definitely am um, going to expand out on this. Right now, I don't have much in here. But yeah, I can definitely fill this up. Let's go check on our... What do you call it? The um, special alloy cave. See if we got some of that special alloy. Alright, here we are at the cave. Fingers crossed. Oh, we got one. But it is producing. It is producing. I, I was hoping for a little bit more. A little bit quicker. But yeah, it is working. We'll take that. We'll take it all. Give it a chance to get more. So how are my trees looking here? Pretty good, pretty good. These two look the same. They're off that one rocket. I had to move that far rocket over here. It being under them rocks didn't really produce anything. Oh, these are kind of nice. All right, all right. Oh, I like these. Yep, we got a mixture here too. But yes, we do have trees. All right, I am about to go build some stuff. All right, all right, some exciting, exciting news. I have been a little bit busy. I have been, well, yeah, I've been quite a bit busy. Uh, let me show you where we are at. We are 8.5 gigaters. Um, we are still trying to get to, I think, seven. Seven and a half to get the next tree spreader. So we're getting there, we're getting there. It's taking a while. It's moving slowly but in the meanwhile to keep myself busy because I didn't want to just be cheap and just let it sit and run nah, that's kind of cheap dying over and over but I kept myself busy I um, worked on my second base over here let's run over here real quick I know you see the trees I haven't done anything down here. I think I'm gonna put a bed and table and chairs and all that stuff down here. That's good for that. My bedroom. But um, up here, I've added a T1 dome. I kind of like it. It gives me a little place to come out here and watch the be your showers and stuff. Really neat. Well, looks like I died here once. Made a little landing here. Very cool. And in here, we have our bio lab. 
these tables come pre-built in the bio lab, so I thought I'd take advantage of them and I put my monitors on there. Um, once again, we are waiting for 7.5. Over here we got the big board and over here we got the other big board. Um, I do believe this is moving. It was 5.3 or 0.53s, but it's going so slow it's going to be impossible to get to that. So, um, yeah, no new messages, but I did, where are we at, where are we at, where are we at, oh, I get lost in here, I don't know where I put it, oh, it's in here, I did build me another one of these, because my power was down to like 600 or something, so we needed that, we needed it. Um, here comes the fun part. Are you ready? Check this out. So, you've seen my map over here. What we could see of it. Now that we're over here, it centers on where I'm at here. So we can no longer see this crash shipped up here, but we can see all this over here. So, here comes more fun. I got to thinking, we have that little base over there at the ring. Let's go throw a map in there and check that out. Alright, here we are over at the summer home. Paradise ring, we'll call it. And you see I got myself a map in here. Now here comes the fun part. So we're looking at the map, right? We're looking at the map. It's like, oh. It's too far out. Don't really see much, really. Over there's the sand waterfalls. Or, no, wait. That's something new over there. I haven't been there. This That's on the back side of the canyon. I have not been all the way around the back side of the canyon. There is something over there. We're gonna go over there and check that out. But, what caught my eye was this over here. See how it glistens, it moves? All this water here, all this water here, and all this water here is it, not making nothing move. But this, this is moving. So, I got to say, hey, we got to go there and check that out. So, let's go there and check that out. How do I get out of here? Ah. Alright, so, we want to go over here. This is so fun. Alright, so you have a little bit of time to click that um, thumbs up button before we get over there. Go ahead, you still got time. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button down there. That's very important too. Um, but we are here, we are here, we are here. Alright, at first glance it doesn't look like anything, but it is abnormal. And we know when we see abnormal things, there is something there. Oh look, look, all right, we are in a cave. This is a new cave. Leave a comment down below if you knew about this cave or not. Because I don't think a whole lot of people know about this cave, it is well hidden. The cave itself is well hidden, let alone it being sunk into the ground. That makes it triple hidden. So we come in here, take a look around, take a gander at this and a gander at that. So we got a split passage coming down. And then big old wall going this way and a big old room on this side. So let's follow this the one wall here to see where it takes us. Oh, okay, okay. I can use all good stuff in there. All good stuff in there. A simian. So it's another simian cave. Now uh, let's go down this side. Crazy enough, I still haven't came across any new gold chests. But there is a chest here. A lot more good stuff. Alright, I like that. I like that. I like it. I haven't found a reason to use fertilizer T2 yet. 
But maybe that's involved in the two tiers that I haven't unlocked of the tree spreaders. Alright, so there we go. We found a brand new cave. And I would have never found it if I would have thought not to thought not to think to look at those maps the way I did. Alright, I am back in my my puzzle box house that I couldn't find my way out of. And uh, we're coming back to look at this right here. This this I didn't see the first time because I was so captivated with this I didn't even think. You know, I saw this little thing over here and I think that right there is the old wreck. The old um, settlement, I, I believe. But I'm going to have to put some markers down and see if they show up on the map. But right now, we are going to head for this. Because this is intriguing me so much. Alright, so here we are at that pit that we saw on the map. Crazy thing is, this is not an actual pit. This is texturing problems. There. So now you can see we, we have rock here. Yeah, it's a texturing problem, basically. And in whatever the satellite map that's reading the surface, it's not picking this up. Can I stand on that? Oh, I can't stand on it. Alright, so there's a collision force there, but um, yeah, it's a texturing problem. So there's nothing there. Sorry, disappointment. So sad. Alright, I'm gonna head back to my base. Alright, so that was pretty exciting. I don't care if it was a disappointment, it's still pretty exciting. And I think there's still things to find if I just strategically place my map room in the right places. But, um, yeah, I am going to go to my beautiful canyon. I believe it's over there. And we'll map that out. So what I would like to do is take screenshots of all my maps. And I think I'm going to, like, combine them into one big map. And I'll put them on my Discord so you anybody can download that map for themselves but um, for now per my comments I was finally able to gather enough uranium to start building more uranium rods which allowed me to build a lot more ore extractor T2s so I followed the advice of a lot of my comments and I strategically placed some I do have one over here in the uh, aluminum field, aluminium. We'll go check it out, see what kind of stuff it produces. You see, there's a lot of good aluminum in here. And then the next place I decided to poke one in, well, actually, the first place was the uh, super alloy place. But one of the other places I've got one now. I've been busy. I've been crafting. I've been hunting. I've been grinding. But we did put one over here in this um, cave. Because I was really trying to get more iridium. And I know that the whole front half of this cave had iridium all over it. I haven't looked in here. I don't know what I'm going to get. But when I plopped it down there, it said it was a, um, a simium um, ore extractor. So we're going to get a simium, but I'm really hoping for iridium too. No. Disappointment. Alright. Moving on. Alright, here we are at the hillside crack. The crash. I was trying to say crash ship and wreck at the same time. Over there is my second base. And up here in this cave, we have another one of my ore extractors. So this one is for uh, a simium. We got quite a bit in here. Oh, I need some oxygen. I don't have any on me. And we were so close to my base. I got all you see I, it took all my stuff I don't know if that happens when you reach a certain level instead of just half your stuff but it took all my stuff all right so then we're gonna continue through this cave 
And then we got the sulfur one over here. It's producing a good amount of sulfur. I, I'm happy with that result. And then the one that I got the most comments on was this. I will admit, I forgot about it. It was one of the first caves I discovered. I completely wiped it out. And I did forget all about it once I wiped it out. I did check on it a couple times. And that's when I realized nothing was respawning. So, yeah, we're headed up to that cave right up there. So for those of you that didn't have enough time to click that thumbs up button the last time, now's a good chance to click that thumbs up button this time. As you see, we have a few minutes here before we get up there. Just keep climbing, just keep climbing. All right, here we are, here we are. What did you produce for me? Weak, weak, weak. So of all my drills, this one produced probably the least amount of what I wanted. Four pieces is not a lot. I don't know why this would be like the others. But yeah, that, oh, I'm gonna die because of oxygen again? Still see my underwater failures here. All these experiments failed. I thought I thought some of them would work. I thought the drills would work, but um, it just says not powered. Not powered. Not powered. And of course, we know sealing off our base had no help. It completely flooded out. Nothing I can do with that. And all this stuff said no power. But crazy enough, crazy enough, the siege spurs are working underwater. It says not powered, but growth is at 100%. Same with this one. Which I thought would be half in water and half out. But actually, you know, that worked, surprisingly. And does this work? Does this work? Nope. Because it's not powered. All right, everybody, this has been one heck of a good run so far. We still have a few more things to unlock, but I believe this is a good place to leave this episode. We'll take a look here at all our little trees that we've made. We got, I don't like the alien looking trees. I do like these trees. They look more real, more natural. Like, even on an alien planet, I really wouldn't expect to see something that looks like this. That's just... I don't know, the flowers are too big. But I guess it could be just a really big flower and it's not a tree. I wouldn't call that a tree, I call it a big flower. That's interesting looking, I like that. These I kinda like. They kinda remind me of the desert a little bit. That's an interesting fruit. The only thing I wish is if these things actually bear fruit that I could pick and eat so I don't have to keep grinding out the food. I could just be walking along and picking something to eat whenever I need to. But anyhow, that's where we're going to leave this video. Make sure you leave your comments and click that thumbs up button. And uh, we'll see you guys next turn. Thanks for watching.